Yes guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have the most meta Bundesliga players in FIFA 21. I've done the Premier League and it did really well. So if you want to watch that, it'll be up there um, in the iCard and also a playlist on my channel so you can check out all the all the other ones and in the comments chuck down below what what are the leagues you'd like me to see or even like teams nations whatever chuck in the comments now i don't want to waste too much time but pretty much going to go through the 442 formation just picking out the best players in each position most meta players pretty much the ones you want to be taking into weekend league to get the most wins in the least amount of games right now we are literally at 2370 subscribers so you can see that there um it's pretty cool but I want to hit more. I want to always grow. So if you can help me out by subscribing, liking this video, all that good stuff, that would mean a lot. So let's get into this. Right then, goalies in the Bundesliga. Obviously, the main man, Manuel Neuer's team of the year. Now, when I put in the cards, obviously, you can use any version of the card unless they're like a, um, I don't know, a silver has been boosted to a really overpowered goal. But someone like Neuer, his base card is still going to be um, a good card to use. But obviously, you buy the best that you can afford. Um, this Castiles, Sommer, Galaski. Um, Hideki, he's got headliners, but guys, it's pretty obvious that Manuel Neuer is the most meta, um, he's quick, he's, he is the best in the Bundesliga, there's not much to say, any vision of Neuer will do for the Bundesliga. Now then, onto the fullbacks, there's probably someone that you can think of, and there he is, and Babu. Um, most people have this Mukiele, I really don't think he's that good, unless you play him at centre-back. Um, this Lema card looks alright, but you'd have had to chose him, I think that was a storyline card. No, sorry, that was a foot freeze. It might have been an SBC, I'm not too sure. And Babu, though, he's he's brilliant. He is the most meta. Bendo would be better as a centre-back. Um, but, yeah, and Babu is definitely the most meta right-back in the in the uh, Bundesliga. And then, in terms of left-backs, there's some good choices. But, unfortunately, for the pricey side of this, it's going to be another team of the year. Um, it is Alfonso Davies. Wendell, if you picked him, I'm pretty sure... No, I, I keep on thinking the storylines are, are different cards, but um, I'm pretty sure Wendell had a storyline, or at least he had something. Uh, maybe it was an objective, I'm not too sure. But what if Wendell is a very good alternative, but in terms of meta, if you haven't got the coins for Davies, you can go for Wendell. But Gunter uh, is also a very, very good option. Guerrero is not that good. Sink Raven would have been decent if you did him. That was a managerial masterpiece but um yeah definitely meta players if you can get the 88 davies or even the uh, 93 obviously both are insane rapid pace honestly guys the 81 davies his gold card is still so op so literally any version of davies he's he's quick and he does the job at left back very well center backs then now this is a position where there's some good choices a lot of people would like to play their full backs at center back so if you want to do that go ahead but i'm going to stick to the positions um, we've got the Bender centre-back version, who's definitely up there. We've got Tapsoba, Boateng, and Alaba. So, we have got a few... Oh, and uh, St. Juste. I can't forget him. Um, Akanji's in there. There's, there, there are good options. Upper Meccano. I think it's just about fallen behind, but could be a good one. Delaney, I see more as a midfielder. And Alvade... Alvade I don't know how you say his name. Alvade um, is a good one. But then there's Klosterman, who really is a a good good suggestion for meta it's quite a, a tough pick because the the kind of options are alaba tap sober saint juste and klosterman i think um alaba's got to go in there for me just because of how well-rounded as a center back a left-footed one as well those are those is in, incredible stats um really the passing and dribbling for a center back is out of this world so he's going to make the left-sided center back spot in terms of meta center backs and then the right one is a tough one. We could go for Tap Sober, although it doesn't have, um, you know, the best um, dribbling passing. Not that it's a main thing, but it's always a always a bonus. Could go for him. Just a, if we're looking at just out and out pace, it's absolutely rapid. Also very, very, very good dribbling for a, a um, centre back. And obviously five star skill moves is that that might help you out. Kanji's there. I am still thinking Klosterman, but are we going to go with Klosterman? Are we going to go with someone like a Kanji? Um, really, really good pace. Still someone who's definitely very usable. Bender's in there, but I don't think he's that meta. Neither Boateng, that's why they're not being mentioned. I do think St. Juste has got to go in there. Um, I'm not so sure if I'm saying that the right way. Um, is he a tradable card? I can't even remember. Um, uh, I don't think he was. He was an SBC. So if you haven't done him... Obviously, there's other options, like I mentioned. I'll probably go Klosterman or Tapsoba there. 
Um, but those two, in my opinion, the most meta centre-backs in the Bundesliga. Right then, right mids, we'll go through the right ring... Right then, right mids, we'll go through the right wingers as well, obviously to make it fair. Um, Bellarabi, for me, is not good enough, either of those, at this stage of the game. Um, I have this card, this Jong Wu Young. I don't know if, if I've said that right. He's not very good. You're looking at Sancho or Reina if you're going for uh, pure meta. Um, obviously, Sancho's got the better dribbling. Reina's got a bit more pace, a bit more shooting, and a bit more passing. So out of those two, um, it's a tough one because Reina obviously got a worse base card. Sancho's got more skill moves and a higher base card. So like when they have a good base card as well as a, a good upgrade, you always kind of like... You know, you know they're going to be good. And then this uh, Bailey is just pace. He's not very good. And then Herman is not very good. So in terms of right mids, I think Jaden Sancho does nip it for this one. Uh, what if Jaden Sancho beats Future Stars Reiner? And he's definitely the the right-sided midfielder winger for this one. And then in the left mid from the Bundesliga, um, we've got Douglas Costa, who I think he actually really could be up there with one of the most meta players. Just because of how like he's, he just nips in and out of you, five star skill moves, left foot, five foot eight, really really good dribbling, ninety four agility, ninety three balance. Like, that's insane. And if you're looking for meta, you are looking for agility and balance. Then we've got this new caustic card, um, not as good in terms of agility and stuff. And then we've got Sobolovsky. Um, I'm not sure if I said that right as well. I'm pretty much butchering all these names. Who for me, it's between Douglas Costa and Sobolovsky. If I've said that right. Um, it's a tough one. Obviously, Douglas Costa got a bit less pace. Um, probably, yeah, a bit worse shooting. Um, apparently worse dribbling, but I think Douglas Costa has the better overall dribbling because of the agility and uh, balance. I think, I don't know, passing is Douglas Costa loses again. I do think this Sobolos slide, I don't know how to say that properly, is going to pit it for... Um, sorry, I didn't even check left winger. Um, I don't think off the top of my head there's any better left wingers there. Um, Royce, wow, hang on, we could be in for a, a little contention here. I don't actually think Royce beats it for meta though, does he really? He's quite tall, 5 star, 4 star though. No, I'm going to stick with Sobolovsky on the left wing, uh, although Royce is obviously a great option if he's done his SVC. Right then, midfielder number one, I'm literally going to just put him straight in there. Um, he comes in out of packs as a CDM. It is a team of the year, and I have actually got him. I've packed him, and this is why um, Okay, he doesn't want to change it to a, an actual card. But um, I do have Kimmich's team of the year. He's an absolute tank. Now, um, obviously, he's worth like 1 million, 1.3. I'm not too sure. But he's the most meta midfielder in uh, arguably the game. One of, one of the most metas in the game. And then definitely in the Bundesliga, um, he's just so good, so good. All round, absolute beast. 95s everywhere and above. So um, I don't think we need to talk about him too much. But in terms of the other ones, um, we go to concepts. I don't know why I've put untradeable first. Um, there, are, there are quite a few good options. Now, Goretzka's there, who's had a lot of special cards. Tolisso's latest uh, showdown plus card. I think he got the... Though you got the win against PSG, but obviously got knocked out. Nehaus, I don't, I don't see as a great one. Witzel, decent, but um, not, not too good at this stage of the game. CDMs, we do have obviously a few Kimmich's cards. We do have Emery Chan. If you're looking for an out and out CDM, I, do, I do think he's the best one in the league. Um, but you know, Guendouzi was a objective. I put him in an SBC. Zakaria, though, if you're looking to play someone at centre back, he could be very, very good um, as a centre back. Or obviously a CDM. Delaney's in there. And then Cam's. Um, we'll check Cam as well. Uh, we've got Sane. Who arguably is, is one of the best ones. He's foot birthday card. And look at those stats. The dribbling's insane. The pace is rapid. In terms of meta. With four star skill moves and five star weak foot. I've got to give it to Sane there. Reina obviously has his middle central card. But Sane with that pace and those the, um, skill, skill moves and weak foot combo. They are the probably as meta as you can get, literally. Um, a lot of Bayern players in this at the moment, but yeah, they're the meta midfielders done. And then on to the centre forwards and strikers. Now, arguably Lewandowski makes it, but in terms of meta, we are doing a strict meta. Um, you know, I don't think Lewandowski, even his team of the year, makes it under that category. Um, Haaland definitely doesn't. I've got his, this card, I've got this Haaland card here. 
he isn't meta, I can tell you that for nothing. Um, but someone like Gio Reyna is. Now, he's got 93 agility. 84 balance isn't, isn't the best, but with an engine on him, which is what I'd use, he does get his passing pace and dribbling boosted up. He's got really good stamina uh, for a striker. 85 strength and really good shooting stats. I do think Reyna's in there with a, uh, with a shout there. And I can't lie uh, to you guys, there aren't many out-and-out -out meta strikers in the Bundesliga. More, they're more um, the Lewandowski's, Haaland's, Weghorst, Silver's. Stuff like that. Um, two other good shouts who probably are going to make one of the spots. Thorgan Hazard and Huang Hee Chan. Now, um, maybe a bit under the power curve. I don't know. But both of them have insane stats. You've got five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Obviously, the weak foot is brilliant on Huang. And then Hazard's got four-star, four-star. So, they're both really, really insane shouts here. I think we'll put Rainer in because he is probably the most meta. Um, just because of how well-rounded and good, uh, what was it, four-star, four-star, four-star on him, so he's brilliant. And then, in terms of the two other Bundesliga strikers, I think I've both, I've got both of them in my club, and I played with both. Um, I do. So, it's between these two, really. Four-star, four-star. Um, it's tough. Um, agility 96 on Huang, and then 94 agility, but 91 balance on Hazard. Not as rapid. Um, Hazard has better all-round shooting um, and passing. Tough one. I think Hazard does pip it. If you're looking for more pace, it's Huang. But everything else realistically is Hazard. So he, him and Rayner, the two Dortmund players, three Dortmund players in this one. Uh, what's that? Five Bayern. Um, we got a Wolfsburg, a Mainz and a Red Bull Leipzig team uh, player there. And that is the Bundesliga most meta team. Now, arguably, there's other people you put in. The centre-backs is probably one of the hardest plays to choose from. There are a lot of players. Maybe you think Royce is a bit more meta, but I think Royce is quite tall. More of a, I'd play more of a striker, to be honest, Royce, or a centre-forward. And then the strikers, you could argue Lewandowski. Up to you. Gio Reyna could be in there over Sancho. Maybe you think um, Sane more of an attacker and shouldn't be in the centre mid spot. Kimmich, I think, is one you can't argue with. Same with Davies. Neuer, you can just pretty much keep as guys. You, you don't have to, like, they're, they're, they're like they're all the same, aren't they? And Babu, I do think, easily wins right back spot and then centre backs, like I said, was a tough one. So, a lot of speaking going on for me. Hopefully you enjoyed it, though. Like I said, I've done the Premier League one. That'll be up there in the iCard if you click that or on my channel in the playlist section or videos. Um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do check a thumbs up. And that is going to be it for me. I'm out. Peace.